I'm back here in Minneapolis and we are going picking today. Our first stop here is going to be hunt and gather behind me. And this place looks incredible. As soon as I saw the photos online, I knew this was gonna be one of our spots today. So let's go junkin. If you do not follow me on Instagram, you are missing out because we have a lot of fun in our Instagram stories together. And one of the things that I did when I was preparing for this trip was I reached out and I did polls to find out what your vintage shops were and what your favorite spots in Minneapolis were so that Maya and I could make sure that we visited them. Today, we are hitting two of the most recommended spots in Minneapolis and Hunt and Gather was at the top of the list. Oh my goodness. This is like the most perfect bench I've ever seen in my entire life. It's got all the colors, but the primary color is blue. And look at this, you can have storage underneath. Got tarps in there. This is amazing. If I was back home, I'd be finding out how much that baby was. So I wanna say thank you to everyone who recommended Hunt and Gather to us, because as soon as we walked into the store, we were transported to vintage heaven. If you are on a mission to add color to your home and you're looking to buy it secondhand, Hunt and Gather would be the perfect place to come and find amazing things that are gonna be unique and that you're just not gonna find at every vintage store that you visit. Truly, I have never been in a store quite like this. I absolutely love stores like this where every corner you turn, you're not quite sure what you're going to find. Maya went in the store ahead of me and it took me forever to find her because there are so many different twists and turns in this store. Up high on a shelf, I spotted this amazing set of hand-painted wooden cups and a pitcher, and I knew immediately that I was going to be bringing those home with me. That was insane. That was Insane. Maya <laughs> wasn't in the intro because she was already inside I shopping. Already filmed it. Yeah, I already filmed the intro. This is the close out of I figured <laughs> I'd have to get started because there was a lot going on. We drove by and she's like, I'm going in, I'm going in right now. <laughs> We got a couple good things. I got this beautiful pitcher and the six cups, and that was just a pleasure to be inside there. That was, that was really re fun. Wasn't it almost It was like scary though, because everything is tight. Like there were places where you're like walking sideways <laughs> to get through, but it was because very Because you don't wanna cool. knock anything over. It was very cool. I felt like we got transported to another realm. So I mean, can we talk amazing. about this house? Yeah, that's a beautiful. Okay, we're gonna There's show like you the texture. carved into it. We're gonna show you the texture on the house that we're looking at right Actually, now. Look at how amazing the house is. Texture. We tried, they closed 15 minutes ago. We had way too much fun across the street. That's okay though. Another spot that came so highly recommended to us was Wild Vintage Collective. Now I believe that this is the sister company to Wild Things Antiques in Minneapolis. And they are only open on the weekends, on Saturdays and Sundays. So we were not able to come here our first day picking in Minneapolis and we were so disappointed, but we have been giddy all morning just knowing that we were finally gonna get to stop in here today. Oh my God, this place is amazing. 
The cool thing about Wild Vintage Collective is that the majority of the vendors have very eclectic style that is primarily items from the 50s through the 70s. And that is my kind of vintage. Dude, these frogs are so cute. $27. Maya and I were again in vintage heaven and we were excited to pick our little hearts out. I already have so many lamps at home that I love. In fact, I even keep a handful of them in the garage that I swap out, depending on how I'm decorating and what the season is. But this lamp is tempting. I love the colors on it. It is such a beautiful vintage lamp. Christmas season is coming up and I'm gonna be hosting a family and friends holiday party. And I think that this might be the perfect addition to that. It's $35, which is a little bit steep, but I kind of have an obsession with hors d'oeuvre toothpick holders. So we're gonna go put this at the front counter and we will just see what else we find and make the decision a little bit later on. It's always really interesting coming to a new city and not quite knowing what to expect for pricing. So far the pricing has been very similar to the vintage stores in Portland where I'm from. I spotted this from across the room and I actually thought it was a hand carved bear. And now that I'm up close looking at it, I'm realizing that this is just naturally looking like a bear and it's only $15. So we are gonna go put this at the front counter. I'm getting this in there. Look at the name. Weird wood thing. <laughs> Isn't it great? So cute. I'm thinking it's an anteater. It's a bear anteater. <laughs> My heart always skips a beat when I see a Batosi piece of pottery. Now they had these up by the front counter, so I knew that they were gonna know what they were. And I already have my amazing Batosi piece of pottery that I bought our first day here in Minneapolis in my luggage. So I'm gonna pass on both of these, but they are really beautiful. And this is actually the first time I have ever seen a Batosi for Pier 1 piece in person. I absolutely love this white creamy color that they made for Pier 1. There's a lot of things you've probably seen me pick up that surprise you. You're just kind of like, wait, what, Laura? This might be one of them, but I have a lot of nieces and nephews and I love tic-tac-toe. This is only $14 for this little tabletop tic-tac-toe board and I'm definitely gonna be getting this one. I see some tic-tac-toe challenges in the future. This is a little bit tempting. It is a James Mont ice bucket, but it is not the model that I'm currently looking for. So we're gonna pass on it today. $99 is a pretty good price. They sell online for around 150. Some of these spaces here are so well put together. This space looks like it's right out of the 70s. I love everything they've got in here. As much as I love going to thrift stores, I will forever love going to vintage and antique stores. Yes, the pricing is higher because they have already put in the work finding the item, but you get to walk into a space full of so much cool stuff. And that alone makes stopping into vintage stores worth it to me. And I always end up finding something for a good deal. For those of you who don't know, Maya has been working for me for the last year and she is doing an amazing job learning how to do product photography. And we were just talking about how we needed more props to photograph jewelry on. This adorable little butterfly earring holder is gonna be perfect to shoot some flower earrings on this spring. We are gonna go add this to the front counter. It 
Italian pottery is easy for me to spot from far away, especially when it is screaming in bright colors like these coffee mugs. There's just something about the texture that you can usually tell without even picking up the piece that it was made in Italy. The mugs are signed Italy on the bottom and it is only $20 for the set of four. We are absolutely getting these. She is so beautiful. I decided to take a moment to look her up online while we were here in the store. They're asking $45 for her and I was able to find some similar pieces online listed for $3.95 and it looks like one of them sold for around $500. I definitely wouldn't expect to get those prices but I do think $45 is a really good price for this and I think she's absolutely beautiful. So we are gonna bring her home with us. I love this vase so much because it's got these little legs and it almost looks like an animal. It's $130, so we're not gonna get it, but I would love to style that one up. We've got a whole shelf full of goodies tucked away over there and we will show you the complete haul at the end of this video. I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. You already know that I am a huge fan of Squarespace. I've been selling my vintage finds on my Squarespace website for the last eight years. And like many of you, I was a little bit overwhelmed with the idea of creating my own website from scratch. But I quickly realized that things have changed, they have come so far, and Squarespace offers you the tools tools and the knowledge that you need to do it yourself. They have endless options for customizable templates. If your holdup to launching your own website is that you might not know how to do something, Squarespace has you covered. I have used their help center so many times. It has been a lifesaver. Every time there's something that I maybe want to do, but I'm not quite sure how to do it, I have gone to their help center and have been immediately able to find the answers I was looking for. They offer an amazing community of other makers and other users that will share their knowledge with you and help you problem solve and troubleshoot anything. So you will literally have access to years worth of collective user experience. So if you have been on the fence of whether or not you were ready to launch your own website, I promise you, you can do it. If I can do it with no experience, I know that you can too. And truly, it is a really fun and creative process. And I just know that you're going to be so proud of yourself when you have a beautiful website to show for it at the end of the day. Head to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. And when you are ready to launch your own website, head to squarespace.com slash left coast for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. She's like the original shop dog. We were in heaven. Lola. We were in, she's so camera shy. Oh, look at her cute. Yeah. Oh. We are here at Retro Wanderlust and we just met the owner and she's wonderful. Everyone was right that we needed to come by here. We've already learned the history on quite a few really cool pieces. What'd you find? I, I picked it up and literally it crumbled. Oh like no. I didn't hit, I didn't hit it to anything. Like okay. I literally, don't worry, just tell her, just tell her. We'll buy it. What is this? Is that like a shirt or a dress? <gasps> what are you? It's a robe and it's beautiful. What's it say? Uh, begin with there with oh, begin okay. with butterflies end with love. Aww. These are amazing. Oh my god, they're so heavy.
Karen has such a wonderful shop and it was really fun getting to know her. She had the most amazing Kent coffee bedroom set. So we have the small dresser and I will insert a clip of it in our basement, but I had never seen the side tables that had the rounded look to them. So this must have been such an exciting find for her. I was excited for her and we just met a few minutes ago. As amazing as the nightstands are, we don't need nightstands because we have a platform Danish bed. But she did have something that is exactly what we have been on the hunt for literally for years. Mandota. But that's so it's not made Mandota. in Minnesota. Yep. Right, but there's no Mandota, Minnesota. What? But the, uh, so what? what? So it doesn't make any sense. Karen was able to ship the mid-century mirror back home to us so that it was waiting for us when we flew home for just over a hundred dollars. You're hiding them from I'm me. Ter As you can tell, I'm terrible <laughs> at pricing, so. No, you're not. I'm I just like the shop. You know? <laughs> Don't we all? I would say if anybody knows my store, you know, they know it's just chaos and you gotta ask for a price. But that's part of my trip. It's part of the fun. It is. Yes. Your little babies. Lola. I know your camera is shy, Lola, but say hi. Lola. So how are we gonna... Wow. I love how you can see how it's broken too in certain areas. By the way, you guys have the best clouds here. <sighs> And we were finally able to get a photo of Lola. We tricked her by having Maya hold the mirror so that Karen and I could get a photo together. And we got the shot of Lola. Look how cute she is. The mirror has arrived and it had no damage. She did a great job packaging it. And I think it's gonna be perfect here in our entry. Thanks for holding it, Jesse. <laughs> we just gotta drill some shaking. holes. Your arms are shaking for reals? <laughs> <laughs> we just have to get some holes drilled in the brick because it's got to be supported really good. We did better our second time picking in Minneapolis. Most of this is from Wild Things. We scored there. I absolutely love this weird bear anteater thing. And it's just a piece of wood that happens to look like a critter. And so I think that it's so fun and different. It's sculptural. And I always like to pick up pieces that are sculptural. I think that they make such a fun statement in a space, especially something like this that's organic and natural. And it's just a really cool piece. So I was happy to get that. I'm gonna be staging all of these finds in our final episode, including this guy. So definitely make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to my channel because you don't wanna miss when that episode comes out. I'm gonna stage all of our finds from our entire Midwest picking adventures. This is a handmade wooden tic-tac-toe tabletop set and I honestly think this is one of the finds that I am the most excited about from this entire trip and the reason why is because I love tic-tac-toe. I've always loved it since I was a little kid and we have a lot of nieces and nephews and I thought that this would be really fun on our coffee table for when the kids come over and we're having a family dinner or a family movie night and instead of needing to be entertained on their phones or on the tv we can have this on the table for them to play and I know Jess he's going to be challenging all of our nieces and nephews to some tic-tac-toe games coming up. This was only $14 and I'm going to go ahead and add some wood oil to it just to brighten it up a bit and help the areas that are a little bit dry. And it's going to go on our coffee table in our living room. This was a little bit of a splurge for me. I felt like the pricing was pretty high on this, but I was so excited to find it because I have an obsession with toothpick holders and I'm going to have a Christmas party here at my house later this year. So I thought that this would be so perfect for it. Sometimes if I'm in a vintage store, Store and I see something I really like, but I feel like the pricing is a little bit high. I look online for comps and I'll check and see if I can find it for less. But in this case, I couldn't even find one available. So that is why I got it. Do you have any ideas for what I should put on here for snacks? so that it looks like a colorful Christmas tree. Let me know. I'm kind of torn between doing some kind of dessert, some kind of like candy that maybe is soft that I could get on the toothpick or doing something like maybe chopped up bell peppers and carrots, other colorful veggies, and I could have this next to a dip. So tell me what you think I should put on here. Maybe I'm missing the obvious. What would make this look the most like a fun Christmas tree? I love this piece of studio pottery. I looked it up and it's not incredibly valuable, but I just think the design on it is so much fun. I love when something has almost like a 3D look to it. And I was super excited about these Italian pottery coffee mugs. They are absolutely gorgeous. They are signed Italy on the bottom. And I only paid $20 for the set of four, which that's only $5 
dollars a piece. That is less than if you went to Starbucks and bought a brand new Starbucks coffee mug. And these are beautiful vintage Italian pottery. Love them, love them, love them. I got this adorable little butterfly to photograph jewelry on. I thought this would be really pretty in the springtime having flower earrings or colorful bohemian earrings dangling from it. So I am not selling this, but you will see some beautiful earrings for sale in the near future that are hanging on it. She was a really good find. I looked her up online and I saw several very similar pieces that had sold for around $500. I thought she was incredibly unique and beautiful and a very well-made piece. And then we also stopped at a a pawn shop and I don't typically film in pawn shops for a variety of reasons but I wanted to show you what I found in there we got five cuffs this is probably my favorite I love landscape Jasper I think it is so beautiful and this one just has the most amazing stone in it beautiful sterling turquoise cuff we got some really good ones and the pricing was amazing. So overall, we are so happy with our finds from today and I will show you guys the most exciting find that we got in Minneapolis because it just arrived. I love this picture set so much. When I first spotted it at Hunt and Gather, I actually thought that it was Yugoslavian or possibly Polish, but check it out. It is actually from Argentina and it is signed 1972. And I think that they are absolutely beautiful. I have a very eclectic style, so I like to mix in mid-century modern pieces with more traditional, and I don't know what it is about it, but I just love the way that everything looks together, and I'm really excited about these because I've always had such a love for the hand-carved Yugoslavian wedding cups, and even though these are not carved they are hand painted i felt like this gives that feeling and that look of beautiful folk art and i just love that it actually was signed with the location that it was made in argentina and to the year this is one of my favorite finds from this entire trip i'm going to be keeping these i'm sorry i'm not going to be selling them i know i would regret it i can't let go of these beauties we had so much fun in minneapolis and we love the new additions